how we travel now we have two backpacks <laughs> we've just got to borneo and it is so hot like humid hot like dripping off your face hot it's worth noting that when you do come here from mainland malaysia your visa is still valid they will just find the stamp in your passport and then like stamp it again that you've entered here um with it with being from the uk we are allowed three months here visa free so it's dead easy we've just booked a grab again obviously and it's cost um, one pound 15 to go about 10 15 minutes away and tomorrow we've got a tour our first tour in borneo two nights three days and they're picking us up from our hotel tomorrow and taking us into the jungle but we're going to be roughing it quite a lot there's going to be uh, no creature comforts no showers no wi-fi no wi-fi no signal no nothing so that'll be interesting also it should be stated that cabs and stuff should be a bit cheaper but the pound is absolutely terrible right now yes so. it's quite expensive to travel as a british person at the minute because our pound is not worth nothing so thanks liz <laughs> um i'm just looking at where i'll grab it so the airport's tiny while the domestic part is anywhere and the grab just comes and picks you up from here but then yeah we've got one tour two nights three days and we're back here for a day and then we've got another tour on the river two nights three days just come out for some food Nice little street food. I've seen a mozzie already and we haven't got bug spray on. And that's uh, some fried rice. Ooh. <laughs> so it's durian fruit, which is the uh, fruit that smells really bad, but it's not actually the fruit, it's just the mocky thing. Mm. We were told to try this first to break us in easy with our western taste buds. Mm. Mm -mm, I don't like it. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the jungle. So this is our little jungle room. We can't see it because we can't turn the lights on. Yeah, the light doesn't seem to turn on. No, I'm tired. You're having a nap? Mm. You can't see me. It's very hot.
Long Jil Maka Here's our little forest room then, in the light. Uh, well, dark, but yeah. the generator only turns on at night. I think this, between six and ten, we have electricity. <laughs> Woo! It's been raining, as you can tell. And we've just been on a boat. And we're doing a night walk tonight, so we're we'll applying insect right. repellent. We've got 100% DEET, it's worth noting, it says on the government website that a lot of tourists bring like citrusy uh, insect repellent, but apparently it attracts hornets, they were like, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't want that. No. <laughs> So it's six o'clock in the morning, we're up for our tour, and then we're gonna come back and have a shower and grab some breakfast and a change of clothes because these I've got quite wet. What time is it Lauren? Half six. Half six. Up bright and early. Your normal breakfast. Use on toast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've just worked out that there's actually a hornet's nest. Just there. So he's just chilling. Flew right by my face. It wasn't great. All in all, I'd probably rate it about a 7 out of 10. Might have been an 8 if there wasn't a hornet. <laughs> so if 
for lunch today. We've got rice, stir fried pumpkin, eggplant in sweet chilli sauce and beef. And it's just me and Joe now. The other two people have left. There might be some more people coming later. We shall see. Resident monitor lizard. Unfortunately, we're at the end of this rainforest trip, but then we're on another one tomorrow.
so we've got a nice little coffee whilst waiting for our laundry to dry. Well, wash. And then we'll probably come back and get another one whilst it dries. <laughs> and all of the wind mirrors in here are spinning Lauren out. She's confused. I, I literally There's one on the roof as well. Hello. Everything is a mess. We've just come back. Well, we haven't just come back, but we've gone and washed our clothes and stuff today. Um, it's just dawned on me that we never spoke about how much that tour we've just done cost. So it was £210 for two nights, three days. That included all your food, transport, activities. Yes, it is expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. We're currently drawing on the wall of the hostel we're staying in now. So this is Sandanken uh, Backpackers Hostel. It's cost £7.50 for the night in this room. Um, we're sorting all our stuff out at the minute because we are back on another tour tomorrow. Same sort of thing, two days, three nights, but half the price. So it'll be interesting to compare them both. Uh, we've seen three out of five of Borneo's big five so far. So yeah, we're excited to do another tour and uh, see if it's any better and compare it for you guys. See if the cheaper one's the same or the more expensive one. And Joe is out here. Drawing our logo on there, which we're all colouring because we've just brought pens for. But we're not the only people that's drawn on the wall, I promise. <laughs> ours is tiny compared to some of these. We saw both of them on our tour. That's my favourite bird in the world, the rhino hornbill. And hopefully, we're going to see some of these tomorrow. And the Elena Tang, which someone's not drawn here, but they've drawn somewhere else. One second one, I found it. There. <laughs> Some of these paintings are incredible. So yeah, we will probably cut the video here and do a new video on the tour we're doing tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one and stay tuned for a comparison at the end on which is best, the cheap one or the more expensive one. I yeah, won't believe in the country, will you? Goodbye, Sam Duncan. Until, until, until a few days. Until a few days. In the same hospital again.